Hi everyone, I'm Sinead. Welcome to my Pilates at Home sessions. Today all you need is yourself, a mat, and if you're lucky, a quiet space. So we're going to start off lying down. Rest your head onto the mat. Find length in the back of the neck. And we're going to start off with full version of one leg stretch. So straighten through that left leg. Notice the natural gap between the lower back and the floor and just press it down closer to the floor. Point through those left toes, draw your right knee into your chest, right hand you slide it down towards the right ankle, left hand to the inside of the right knee. Lift through the upper body, look in between the legs and lift through that left foot towards a skirting board. Easier towards a highlight switch. So you're gonna inhale, hug, inhale, switch, exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> switch, breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, breathe out. Upper body is strong and steady. You're moving from the lower part pointing and stretching your foot out as if you're pushing through something resistant. So think treacle or honey, you're not just throwing the leg out there, you're hugging in as well. So using your arms, feeling a bit of a pinch in the upper thigh. So breathe in, breathe out. Warming up through the legs, through the tummy muscles, through the arms. And last breath cycle. And relax, hug your knees into your chest, lower the head down with length in the neck, gently rock from side to side. We're just going to kick out through the legs here, so bending and stretching through the knees or through the legs, you're straightening out and bending, warming up through the knees and then straighten out through the two legs, keep them straight. Hands to the backs of the legs, tuck the chin, inhale, see if you can lift your tailbone up off the floor, exhale, release. So you can relax through the feet for this one using your arms to help you stretch through that lower back and working through those lower tummy muscles even if you don't notice it. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, lift up and breathe out, lower down. Inhale, lift, pull the knees in. Exhale, release, two more. Breathe in, lift and breathe out, lower. One more time, inhale and exhale, knees into your chest, double leg stretch. Hands to the shins, any knee problems, hands to the backs of the legs. Lift through the head and the chest, or you can leave the head on the floor for an easier version. Inhale, hug in so tight the bum lifts or wants to. Exhale, we stretch through the legs, feet in Pilates V, arms long, palms facing up. Inhale, exhale out. Breathe in, hug in, and breathe out, stretch. Breathe in, hug in, breathe out, stretch, lower back, press it into the mat. Engagement in the tummy muscles, add a pause as we straighten. Inhale, hug, exhale. Two more times, breathe in and breathe out. Last one, inhale and exhale. Lower the legs all the way down to the floor. You're gonna reach your arms up over your head. Feel the length in the body, allow that natural gap occur between the lower back and the floor. Breathe into your belly. Inhale fully, exhale out fully. Last one, deep breath in and breathe out. We're gonna work on your obliques now. So legs about hip width or maybe even a little wider than hip width apart. Arms out wide from the body to start with. Engage the tummy muscles, so trying to press the lower back down at the same time. Deep breath in here. As you breathe out, your two arms are going to come to the outside of that left leg, pulsing up. Inhale, open out, lower down. Exhale, two arms come to the outside of the right leg, twisting. Inhale and exhale. So it's like a twisted half teaser. Breathe in, open, exhale. Breathe in, open out and exhale, twist. Breathe in, open out. Exhale, twist. Now, easier version of this one. You don't come up as high. You can just lift the leg and bring your arms to either side. Exhale and inhale. Easier on the hips, you just bend the knee. Breathe out and inhale. Breathe out, twist and inhale. Last time, breathe out. Outside of the left leg, twist. Squeeze through those obliques or those obliques. And one more, breathe out and inhale, arms wide. Bend your knees now. Feet as close to your hips as possible, knees and feet are hip width apart. Breathe in, lower the lower back, press it into the floor. Breathe out, push up into your shoulder bridge. Feel a lovely stretch in the front of the body. 
squeeze through the glutes or the bum, inhale, exhale, lowering the spine down, moving from the sternum, releasing the back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, relax the hips into their natural shape at the very end. Breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push and lift up. <sighs> inhale, squeeze through the glutes, breathe into the rib cage. Exhale, release the spine down slowly. Control, trying to separate those last few vertebrae at the very end. Feel your hips go into their natural shape. Breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet and lift up. <sighs> Inhale at the very top, squeeze through the glutes. And exhale, release the spine down slowly. Controlled, relax the hips. Fighting to keep your knees completely steady. Inhale, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet, peel up. Inhale at the very top, squeeze through those glutes. And exhale, release the spine down. Relax the hips into their natural shape at the end. Stretch your right leg up towards your ceiling or towards the ceiling now. Hands to your calf if you can get them there. Otherwise, anywhere but behind the knee. Straighten through that left leg for scissors. So we breathe in, hug twice, breathe out, switch. In, in, out. <sighs> breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, switch. Pulling twice and then switching or scissoring through the legs. Notice the hip bones stay in line. Inhale, hug, exhale. Those legs poker straight. Easier version, you shorten the gap between the legs. You can keep the head on the floor if that works better for you. Harder version, get those shoulder blades higher. Chest is open, shoulders away from the ears. And one more, breathe in, breathe out. Hug the knees into the chest. Cross the ankles, gently rock from side to side. Soles of the feet together. Outer edges of the feet on the floor. Recline cobbler. Feel a lovely stretch in the inner thighs. Arms out wide, natural gap between the lower back and the floor. Breathe into the belly. Breathe out. One more deep breath in. And breathe out. Two knees come together, allow the knees fall to the right, turn your head to the left. Breathe into the left side. Breathe out. One more deep breath in. And breathe out. And knees come back to the center. Two knees to the left. Turn your head to the right. And breathe into the right side. One more deep breath in. And exhale back to the start. Coming over onto your right side now, lengthen through the right arm for your sideline balanced position. Two legs are stacked, scan through your body. Your feet, your ankles, your knees, your hips, your shoulders are stacked. Engage through the tummy muscles. So think of shortening the gap between the hip bones and the bottom of the rib cage to lengthen through the lower back. Allow the two legs to float up a couple of centimeters. Think length, not lift. Allow the head to go, no tension in the neck. Point through the toes. Feel it in the front of the ankles and your shins. We're going to inhale, kick forward with that left leg. No movement in the right side. Exhale, bring it back. So you're kicking forward just a couple of inches and exhale, bring it back to the start. So challenging your balance by adding that kick. Inhale and exhale back to the start. Breathe in, kick forward and exhale. So this is a lovely position to practice your Pilates breathing. Breathing into the front, the sides, the back of the rib cage. The rest of the body is completely steady. Maybe close your eyes or soften the gaze to add a bit of concentration and isolating through that left hip joint. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring it back to the start. <sighs> Inhale, kick forward and breathe out back to the start. We got two more. Inhale, kick and exhale. <sighs> Last one. Inhale, kick forward and exhale back to the start. Lower down through the legs. Slide forward with that right leg for a full side kick. Now you can bend through the knees, especially if you're bony in the hips, and then come into your full side sit up position. So if this is uncomfortable for you, adjust the exercise to suit you. Okay, point through those left toes. Inhale, kick the leg forward. Exhale, flex, pulse back twice. Breathe in, kick the leg forward. Exhale, flex, pulse back twice. So pressing into the outer edge of that right foot. Strong base, inhale and exhale. Feel it in the glutes on the left side. Breathe in, we point and exhale, we flex, pulse back twice. Breathe in, point and exhale. Engage through the tummy muscles, use your breath. Inhale, point, and exhale, kick back twice. Breathe in, point, kick forward. Exhale, kick back twice. Breathe in, and breathe out. Last three, keep it going. Exhale, 
last two breathe in point and breathe out kick back one more time inhale and exhale take hold of your left hand with your left foot for a quick quadricep and hip flexor stretch pull your heel to your bum release through that left shoulder and kick into your hand all at the same time pull a little bit tighter then let go flex through that left heel and start to draw circles so as moving as quickly as you can feel the left hip start to burn and then change direction go the opposite way not forgetting to breathe in and breathe out and relax through that left leg bend through the right knee you're going to lift up through the left leg bring your left hand to the inside of the thigh take hold of the ankle or the shin and plant that left foot above the right thigh using that right knee as a hook gently open up through the left hip feel it in the glutes in the left hip here breathe into the stretch hold it if you need to lower down onto a long arm do one more breath cycle here inhale and exhale out lower your left knee down towards your chest hug it in give your hip a, hip a little hit or a rub and then long leg with the left side straighten again through that right leg breathe in bring the left arm up and over exhale we're going to bend elbow and knee squeezing your left elbow towards your left hip breathe in find length exhale squeeze through the obliques breathe in find length exhale squeeze breathe in find length exhale squeeze breathe in find length reach up and over and exhale squeeze through those obliques two more like this breathe in and breathe out last one breathe in and breathe out now hold this position place your left hand to the back of the left thigh straighten out through the left leg prop your head up hold it feel a stretch in the back of the leg a little bit in the hips breathe in and breathe out lower down that left leg to join the right leg so we're going to do double leg stretch on our side now right hand comes out in front of your rib cage left hand is on your side inhale and as you exhale we're going to grab the legs inhale find length palm facing up behind exhale crunch inhale find length breathe out crunch and breathe in breathe out breathe in so the breathing is different with this one, but it's good to change up the breathing. So exhale, inhale, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and last time, breathe out and breathe in. Roll straight over onto your belly into your sphinx position for a single leg kick so your elbows ideally are in line with your shoulders any lower back problems you start to move the elbows out wider and lower the chest down press your hips your pubic bone into the floor point through the toes and press the toenails into the mat so you feel your kneecaps lift squeeze through the glutes and gauge through the core inhale kick right heel to right hip twice breathe in breathe in breathe out start to speed it up so the second one leg is coming closer to the floor, kick with the other leg. Looking slightly out in front of your thumbs so that you're not straining through the neck. Inhale, breathe out, inhale, and breathe out. Inhale, kick, and release. Breathe in, and breathe out. Feel the glutes working. But with this exercise, it's not all about the lower part of your body. So it's stabilizing through the shoulders. The chest stays open, the upper body strong and steady. And last set. And lower down. Hands come in underneath your shoulders. Push yourself up and reach the hips back. Feeling a nice stretch in the entire spine. You can lower your forehead to the floor. And just stay here for a couple of moments. Coming over onto your left side now for that sideline balancing position, you're resting your left ear on your left bicep. The left palm is facing up towards the ceiling and then scan down through your body this time. So your shoulders, your hips, your knees, your ankles, your feet are stacked. No tension in the neck whatsoever. Just float those two legs up a couple of centimeters. Think length, not lift. Point through the toes. And once you feel steady, you're gonna add that kick. So your inhale, kicking forward from the right hip. Exhale, bring it back to the start. Breathe in, kick forward and exhale. If you need a bit of support, you place the right hand or a finger out in front for balance. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> breathe in, kick forward and exhale back to the start. Breathe in, we kick 
and exhale. Make sure that that left palm is up towards the ceiling so you're not using that left hand to help you balance. And you're working as much as you possibly can here on your Pilates breath and your oblique muscles and your balance. Breathe in, kick forward, exhale, bring it back. Inhale and breathe out. Two more, inhale and exhale. And last one, breathe in and breathe out. Lower down through the legs, prop yourself up into your side sit-up position for your full side kick. So slide forward with that left leg now. If you need, bend the knee if you're quite bony in the hips. Open through the chest, engage through the core. Point through those right toes, inhale, kick forward. Exhale, flex, pulse back twice. Breathe in, point, kick forward. Exhale, flex, pulse back. Breathe in and breathe out, kick back. Inhale, point and exhale, flex, kick back. Breathe in, point, kick forward. Exhale, flex, kick back twice. Breathe in, point, and exhale. Inhale, point, kick forward. Exhale, flex, pulse back twice. And breathe out. Inhale, and breathe out. Last two here. Exhale, and one more time. Breathe in, and breathe out. Take hold of the right foot from the outside with that right hand. Pull the heel to your bum, kick into your hand. For that quick stretch, hold, breathe into it. Exhale out. One more deep breath in here and breathe out, release. Flex through the right foot. Start to draw little circles or make circles with that right hip and the heel. No movement in the foot, isolating through that right hip joint again and then circle the opposite way. Inhale and exhale out. Breathe in and breathe out and relax. Bend through that left knee. Reach up through that right leg. You're gonna bring your right hand to the inside of the right leg. Take hold of the ankle or the shin, do what you can. And then plant that right foot out in front of your left knee, opening up through the hip. If you want, you can rest down onto a bent elbow. Feel a lovely stretch in that top hip. You can rub the hip if you want as well, or your bum, breathe into it. And then draw that knee into your chest. Give it a little hug. And then stretch out through that right leg. Right arm and left arm are extended over your head. So you're framing your face. Flip the left palm to the floor, breathe in here. Breathe out, we crunch up. So you're squeezing through your obliques now. Also working through the hips, the knees, the arms. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Breathe in, find length. Exhale, squeeze, bring it up. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Squeeze through those obliques. Breathe in here and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, inhale and exhale. Take hold of the back of the right leg, straighten it up, straighten through that left leg as well. Pull it in, feel the stretch, and then lower it down to meet the left leg. You're gonna bring that top arm out in front of your chest. So double leg stretch on your side here. We're gonna to inhale to prepare as we exhale, take hold of the legs, and then reach back, palm facing up, inhale, find length. Exhale, catch the legs, inhale. Breathe out, catch the legs. And then inhale, find length. Breathe out, catch. Again, working through those obliques and a bit of balance as well involved. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you crunch. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and breathe out. Two more. Catch the legs, exhale. Inhale, stretch. One more, catch the legs. And then inhale, stretch. Come over onto your belly one last time. So we're gonna do double leg stretch, hands to the lower part of your back, frame your waist with your elbows. Chin is tucked, two legs, glue them together. Imagine you've got one leg. Kick twice, exhale, get those knees up. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, catch or kick twice, exhale, stretch. If you need to let go to lengthen through the arms, you can and just reach the arms back, in, in, out. Breathe in, kick, breathe in, kick, breathe out, lengthen, squeeze the shoulder blades together, exhale. Breathe in, kick twice, and exhale. Inhale, kick, kick, exhale, stretch. Last two, breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, and one more time. 
And you're gonna hold this position. Let go with the hands, palms facing up. Inhale, lift as high as you can. Exhale, palms facing down. Lower the legs, lower the arms. Breathe in, lift. And breathe out. Inhale, lift up. Palms facing up, getting a bit of shoulder action in here. Lower down, breathe in, lift. And exhale, lower down. Breathe in, flip the palms up. And breathe out, flip the palms down to the floor. Breathe in, flip, and breathe out. One more time, breathe in, and breathe out. Plant the hands, place the hands out in front of your forehead, rest the head down, and rock from side to side. Thank you for doing Pilates with me today. I hope you enjoyed this session. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done already. Maybe leave a comment or a like. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you.